hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm happy to have you here as always if this is your first time thanks for stopping by please do not make it your last subscribe join this fam you're definitely going to love it here and if it's not your first time on this channel thank you for returning i'm happy to have you very 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 happy as you can see from the title it is hard to get the bag in your 20s yes and even if you're in your 30s watching this video it is still hard to get the bag and as you know it is not a bad thing in fact it's a good thing to have multiple streams of income you get what i'm saying then you start little by little while you grow into a big empire and i just want to let it out here that i am not a business expert but these are things that i have tried and they have worked and i know people who have tried them and obviously they have worked and they have worked so well so 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 well trust me and the first tip of this video is that you should watch it to the very very end because i have a lot that i will say let's get right into it so guys the very first one is podcasting just an audio recording of your voice saying whatever it is you want to say so when it comes to podcasting, you just have to choose your niche what exactly do you want to send out to people what exactly do you want people to hear you say what exactly do you want to do that's just it do you want to talk about relationships do you want to talk about movies do you want to motivate people whatever it is you need to do it has to do the audio only because then they listen to what you have to say with their airpods or whatever it is they want to use and listen to it they don't need to see your face or whatever and i think it's easy because when it comes to youtube now they see your face you have to make up look good try and present yourself very well when it comes to podcasting you can be literally wearing a robe and a bonnet and no one is even going to know what you look like you just put it out there and then that's it then there's this app which is a very best app to use as a beginner in podcasting and the app is called anchor app anchor app is the best when it comes to podcasting because on this app you can record your audio on this same app you can edit it and on this same app you can send it out with just one click to spotify and apple so it's actually very easy very user friendly i've been looking into podcasting for a while and i went to the app i use it to record i use it to edit so i have tried it and i know it works and then obviously i didn't click it because i was not ready but i was just trying to look at how it works and everything because it's something i'm kind of like looking into and all of that so yeah that's it for podcasting so this video obviously is how to make money so yeah there are obviously ways to make money on podcasting and one is by running ads but when it comes to podcasting running the ad is basically reading the ad out because unlike youtube where you see the ad and whether it's close up or anything else but podcasting you have to read the ad out yourself and then your listeners will hear you say it and then the next thing is there's a platform on this same anchor app whereby you can set up something like a gofundme right for your listeners to, like support you ten dollars two dollars one dollar whatever it is they want to give you it's just right there i've seen it on a podcast before and i clicked on it and yeah it is real if i had wanted to like send that money that money would have bounced right into her account obviously so yeah this are the two ways i know to make money on podcasts by running ads and setting up something similar to a gofundme for your listeners to support you so if there's any more information you need about podcasts you can go ahead and research on it there are lots of things out there for you to see and the next one is youtube yes I do YouTube so I obviously know how I started. I just started with my phone basically. The first time I shot a video, I shot it with natural light. I didn't have a ring light, nothing. I just had my tripod and my phone. And YouTube is basically almost same thing with podcasts, but then podcasting, they don't see your face on anything or anything, but YouTube they see your face, they know how you look and everything. So it's also the same thing as choosing your niche. Are you a gamer? Do you want to talk about relationship? Do you want to talk about God? Whatever it is you want to do on YouTube, you just need to first of all choose your niche 
get yourself a tripod if you have a good iphone that's it you start your youtube channel and then when you're done recording with your phone you just need to edit and there are free editing apps out there sometimes i use iMovies and sometimes i use the software on my laptop and then there's InShot, and then there's so many so many apps out there you always use and edit your videos when you're done shooting it and then you upload it it's actually very very easy and that's it you're good to go on youtube you can make money where your channel is monetized and you have to get 1000 subscribers for you to be mad then you need to get to 4000 watch hour which is not an easy thing to do but then it's very 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 possible very very possible so when you get there i have to start showing on your video if that video is eligible for us to show on it that is if it not break any rule and all of that on that particular video then ads will pop up maybe when the video starts when it ends in the middle it just depends on you and how you want to do it and obviously you get paid when these ads pop up and when people watch them and also you can become an affiliate marketer selling people's products and you get a commission for it so that's basically it with youtube and there are other ways obviously to make money on youtube so you can go ahead and browse it intensively before so you can know what it is you're getting into maybe in my next video i'm going to talk about youtube squaring because i feel like there's a lot about it and i'd like people to know this this and this before you get into youtube but then the next one we're going to talk about is handmade bags and slippers yes so when it comes to this business i have a friend that does handmade slippers and they are very hang trust me and when it comes to this what you need to do is to go and do a market survey you need to know how much certain things cost you need to know how much the cost price will be and that's it when you get into the market you try to find out okay how much will this pair cost how much will this pair cost how much will this pair cost then when you find out how much a slippers or a shoe is going to cost for you to make it then if you feel like oh it's way too much i can sell it then you start negotiating with them okay can you cut down the price to this can you do this can you do that so is that for you to negotiate a price that is good for you and also good for them so that where you add your profit you can be able to like sell it online or sell it wherever it is you want to sell and of course one of the best ways to do it is by advertising it online so when you start this business you can obviously run ads on instagram run ads on facebook do whatever marketing you have to do to like make sure you sell it out and that's basically it i just want to say that i've mentioned three and none of the businesses i'm going to mention on this video it's easy to sustain not like i'm saying it's you start pouring your money after you have started but i'm trying to say that there are things to do it's not just starting it up and then you think that it's an easy business there's actually no business that is easy whatever business you decide to start you have to put your mind to it you have to put your heart to it you have to decide that okay i want to do it there's still marketing they're still meeting up on time with your customers there's still so many things to do but for this video i'm just going to tell you the you know businesses you can start with little or no income and then the next one is login yes login is just basically when you set up a platform and upload stuff for people to read stuff that you've written and all of that and then there's an app called wordpress wordpress is a platform whereby you can upload your content for your readers to see is an app and it's also user friendly on this wordpress you can also make money by offering courses to people maybe teaching them how to edit or one thing or the other maybe digital marketing or whatever it is you want to teach them whatever it is you're good at and you want to like share your knowledge and they get to pay for it of course and then there's also where you become an affiliate marketer so affiliate marketing is whereby you sell other people's product for a commission for example maybe you're given a link and you upload the link alongside the content that you've written and then if people click it and go to the website to buy 
then you get a commission or it's either they have to buy a product for you to get a commission so it just depends on what you decide or how the program goes whichever one it is but then it has to do with these two it's either once they click on the link and get to the website you get paid or when you or when they buy something through your link and you get paid and another one is where you offer membership and subscription so for people to read your content they have to pay a fee maybe twelve dollars every month ten dollars every month so that's basically what we mean by paying for subscription or becoming a member and all of that then the next one is when you post content like when you run ads for people you know when you're browsing on a website or you're going through the net and then an ad pops up each like an ad you just need to know that okay these people are actually going to make money from this ad or whatever so that's basically it they are making money because of that ad has popped up and you probably might even click it and see watch it and whatever just like how ads on youtube pop up so the next one is errand services or becoming a personal shopper errand services is whereby you pay people to do a specific task for you it could be doing your laundry it could be shopping for you so yeah you could actually become a personal shopper you just basically need to decide what it is you want to be shopping for people whether it is electronics clothes shoes bag whatever it is and when it comes to clothes and shoes you need to be like good with fashion because sometimes people come to personal shoppers because okay they don't know how to put one or two together so they can be like okay i'm going for this particular um show i'm going for this shoot i'm going for this thing one whatever it is they want to attend and then you're like okay fine i know the right dress i'm going to get it for you i know the right shirt, i know the right bag for you to wear so that's basically it about personal shopping you have to be very very good with fashion so you'll be able to like help out your client just in case they are oblivious or they don't have an idea of what and what to put together or where to get what they want also people are personal shoppers for companies because i know of people who are in china and then people pay them to like buy goods from china and ship it down and obviously you make money because you're obviously going to get paid for rendering your services i would advise that if you're a personal shopper when it comes to clothes and shoes and bags and you don't know how to style or you don't know anything about fashion then you should definitely get down to it but if it's not like something that's your talent and all of that then you could be a personal shopper strictly for maybe electronics or for your shoes and then the next one is property management you could be an agent for a landlord or an agent for someone who owns a house and they want to rent out or sell and yeah i asked a friend about how this works because i have people who are into it and all of that and then one told me that it's basically just you scouting out for different houses especially houses that are still new that people want to sell or people want to rent out even if it's not new maybe you know of somewhere that they're going to pack out soon or it's an empty building or whatever the main theme is that they want to sell this house or they want to rent out this space to people and then you could bring those people advertise on instagram facebook your whatsapp to people around you whichever way you want to do so that they can actually like be aware that okay we're renting we can rent this house to you or you can buy this house and obviously you pay your agent fee because you're the ones like doing the scouting you just need to come to the person oh you're an agent i need a house i need two bedroom one bedroom whatever it is you need then they take you to those places that they already have in mind and then he also went on to tell me that when it comes to this when you go to the landlord to like okay i want to be an agent for your house and all it's either they're like oh sure or they're like okay that's fine but then whatever it is you are going to collect from let's say if you're going to collect like um hundred dollars for agent fee that they're going to get like five percent or ten percent from that then if it's fine by you then that's the agreement so they already know that okay you collect hundred dollars for your fee and then they are getting ten percent so every house that 
they rent out people through you they cut they get a fee and also you get your own fee and sometimes the landlord actually don't even collect any fee from them so that's actually how it works and also when it comes to selling of land if you bring someone to a particular lot of land whatever they sell the land you could take like maybe two percent or three percent or five percent it just depends on your agreement with the owner of the land or the property whatever it is so the next one is pretty big and i have a pretty big business so i know very well that you actually need little or no income to start it the first time i started this business basically my friend already had a really really nice breeder wig and then we did some you know advertising telling people to buy okay it's fine we took really nice pictures with it and posted it and from there i started getting people to buy and patronize me and that is actually how we started so you pay and then we get it done that's actually how it works so let's go to Benobi and her main stickers i'd really say that okay the only thing you really need to spend your money on those early days is basically making let's say the bags or the waterproof that you're going to like use to like package the stuff and give to your customers because yes good packaging is also very very good you can't just hand over the wig or the slippers like that without packaging it very well and then you also need to brand it so that they'll be aware that okay this is it and then maybe someone even see them like oh i want to get a better wig but let me call this number or let me charge people up on the gram and all of that and it doesn't cost so much to get yourself a bag or a really nice branded waterproof or whatever it is you want to like use and be packaging the goods to your customers just need to tell them okay it's going to get done it's going to be done in two weeks three weeks and then also you need to go on the market survey to find out the people who will do this for you to find out how much some of the materials cost in the market because you need to know okay since if you're using the closure to do it on front you need to know okay how much the front out is how much the attachment is going to cost how much everything is going to cost you put it together you put how much you're going to even pay the person who does the week that's if you don't know how to do the week and then how much is your own profit from it then all these things will sum up to whatever amount it is and then you could start advertising and say okay buy this buy that and all of that then the next one is tutoring you can decide to be a tutor once you know that you're great in this course on this subject maybe it's mathematics maybe it's english physics chemistry whatever it is you can decide to be a tutor and teaching people giving them extra knowledge maybe before okay you know how um they are in nigeria there are three terms for like primary school and secondary school so maybe after each term you come and teach them what will be their next workload for the next time so they'll be like ahead and more bright or if it's something they are lacking in you could and you're so good at it you could teach them that other to get their grades up and all of that so but you need to make sure that you're good at tutoring because if at the end of the day you're not good at it and you go there and you spit out whatever nonsense you want to spit out and you get paid for doing that it's really not going to be nice so you need to be sure that okay i'm good at this and i want to share my knowledge help people who need extra teaching because when i was in secondary school i hated math so i had to get like a private tutor that would like teach me calmly yeah that's the word teach me calmly because it's not always like when you know how when the teacher is like teaching like 30 something other students and then Sometimes you might be shy to ask a question or you don't even get it But I realize that when I'm one-on-one -on -one with somebody It's easy for me to focus, it's easy for me to remember, it's easy for me to understand But when it's like teacher just there talking, one or two things might just distract me and all of that So if you know you're going to be a great tutor, go for it Yeah, that's it Then moving on to the last but not the least is editing before I learned how to edit, I had to pay two different people nothing less than 10,000 
now to edit my video and these are videos of just like 10 15 minutes and i had to pay like 10,000 plus to get this video done although i know now that many people know how to edit their videos themselves but you realize that some of people just use okay maybe tiktok or instagram reels and they just put it together and all of that so we don't know actually how to get it done well so if you're good at it and you have your software premiere pro the iMovies or whatever it is you want to use and you know how to like put these things together and you keep getting better maybe as you grow you decide that you know what i want to go full scale movie editing then from the money you've gotten from the small ones then you take courses and you learn how to go into that one big time so i just want to say that these businesses might actually seem small when you're starting but it's something that can obviously grow into a very big empire and give you the cash that you need that would sustain you and i want to say that you really need to take it seriously if it's something that you need to start it's not just about starting oh little or no income it's just gonna cost maybe ten thousand fifteen thousand this dollar that dollar for me to start and you're like you know what boom let's get into it and then you find out that oh it's actually hard because yes no business is easy you're gonna have your struggles literally and that's like the next video i'm going to do but i just need to get you to like this video if i get up to like 40 likes on this video and if i get like comments saying okay yeah talk about the struggles i personally have had with my video business because i've had a lot it's big and i'm still on it but definitely we keep moving forward obviously it's we learn every day we are moving forward we're not going back down and i also have friends i know their struggles i know people we, we see every day it's not easy so if you want to rush into it because i said little or no income and this is it and then you go and browse more into it and like, oh i actually don't need money to like do this so i need really small money and then you get yourself into trouble i mean you will just stop but yeah we don't want to start something that we cannot finish so know that there's more into it and that would also be another video of how to like sustain your business so guys this is the end of this video i'm so happy if you stayed to the very end and you watched this video if you have any questions for me definitely just say it in the comment section and we're going to get right into it if we need to like have a personal conversation of how you need to get straight into it hit me up on instagram i'm definitely going to reply you just as you told me that you came from my channel and on this is this you need this i'm definitely going to like have the conversation with you thanks for watching this video see you next time bye